Hello, my dear children. Welcome to my channel. And we were doing question and answer from the chapter The Enemy. So today also we are going to take up question and answer from the same chapter because the chapter is lengthy. So question answers are also lengthier. Okay. So let's start. Rather, let's continue with the question and answers and let us be very much attentive while discussing. The next question in front of us is, what reason would you ascribe to the general beating his wife? For this question, you have four points that you need to include. The first point is, General Takima was a cowardly man. That is why he used to beat his wife. Okay. Next point is, he suffered from inferiority complex. This was because even though he was a great general of Japanese troop, he was not able to lead his life to the fullest because of his illness. He had won so many battles, but he was not physically fit. He was dependent upon Dr. Sadao. Because of that, he was feeling inferiority complex. Next point which you need to include is that he believed in overprotecting himself. He was not able to accept that death is inevitable. Therefore, what he did, he tried all his measures so that he can protect his life. Next, he exercises his authority on the weak. He uses his power on the weak. By weak, we mean the wife, the female member of his family, which he should not have done being a leader of Japanese troop who was welcomed by citizen of Japan for winning and bringing laurel for their country. Okay, let's move to the next question. Next question is, what did Hana think when she saw the scars on the American? Why did she think so? Now see, Hana, who was the wife of Dr. Sadao, Hana, who was the wife of Dr. Sadao, was a very simple lady. Therefore, she became very worried, very much worried when she was cleaning the American man. She sincerely hoped that he had not been tortured because she had heard the story about torturing people from enemy countries, especially prisoners in the battle were tortured by the troop. So, she was hoping that he is not tortured. It shows that she was a very kind lady who thought about others, even though he was from enemy country. She was shuddered at the thought of physical abuse. She had never seen pain. She had never seen bloodshed. She had never seen people torturing others. She just have heard about the stories. So she was here encountering the person who had experienced the same, who had undergone the same. Therefore, she was thinking that he should not have been abused by Japanese troops. Next point is, she knew it was, she knew it was a common practice to torture prisoner of war, especially during war. Prisoners were, when they were captured in the battle, they were brought to their enemy country and then they were made slaves. Some of them were given torture, okay, because of which this man also, the American man also had a lot of injuries on his body. That was caused by Japanese troops. Now, Hannah started thinking about him, so she became very much terrified. Let's move to the next question. Do you agree with the observation of the American professor? Ignorance of the human body is the surgeon's cardinal sin. Let's see the answer. Now here the points that you have to include are Point number one. Surgeon's main field of activity is the human body. The doctors, they deal with human body. Their field of activity, their field where they work, their workplace is here, human body. Therefore, they should have thorough knowledge about it. No right to operate without knowledge. This point says that if 
the doctors and the surgeons they don't have ample of knowledge about human body then they are not liable to exercise their activity that is operation on human body if they do it then it is like committing a cardinal sin it is like virtual murder because without knowledge if they will do operate if they do operate human body then they are going to die instead of saving their life the doctor himself will kill the patient's life that is why it is compared to virtual murder virtual means real murder okay the knife that they are using it saves somebody's life and it kills somebody's life somebody as well okay so they have to use it very carefully in order to justify their profession let's move to the next question and it is why does dr sadao mutter the words my friend while treating the american prisoner of war what is ironical about his words the first point is doctor was totally engrossed in his work as a doctor his duty was to save his patient and right now he was with his patient whoever it is okay he is not remembering the identity of the patient which was american okay so what happened he became oblivion he became oblivion gradually he was not able to see anything else than the patient okay and the place where he was operating therefore as he was habituated to talk to his patient patients what happened he calls the enemy american prisoner of war as my friend okay here the ironic thing is that the enemy was being called as a friend and i have already told you it is because he is habituated to talk to his patient and right now he is not considering who is he what is his identity his identity is nothing else than a patient to a doctor okay next question is how do the servants react to the decision of sadaus to keep the american prisoner of war in his house in their house see this is very important question the point that you have to mention is that servants want the master that they will leave the job if they will house the white man next point was servants thought both had stayed in america therefore they developed a liking for american which was totally wrong so dr sadao and hana had spent some time in america when they were studying there okay particularly it is not mentioned whether hana had gone for studying there or not from the story it is revealed that she was not courageous enough to take up the work as a doctor or as a nurse because just because of the messy floor and the blood which came out from the operation she became nauseatic which shows that she was not fit for a job of a nurse so what for what reasons she was there in america we don't know so let us keep it aside and uh, you know just focus on our answer and that is both hana and dr sada were stayed in america so servants thought that they started liking an american okay liking an american which was totally wrong even dr sadao and hana wanted to get rid of this particular soldier when nature wants to kill them when nature wants to kill them why sadao interfering in nature's task as i had told you in earlier question the servants believed that nature that is sea and rocky stones wanted to kill this man american man then why Dr Sadao is trying to interfere in the matter of nature why is he not letting that man die okay so they were thinking that they liked america for that reason they were liking that american also but that was not so other servants saw that he was proud of his skill skill of saving life of anybody okay so because of this very reason also maybe dr sadao was trying to save white man's life that was the 
perception of the servants which was totally wrong later on they realize their mistake and they come back even after leaving the job let's move ahead let's move to the next question the question is give details of the two things that happened on the seventh day after the wounded american was brought into the home or house by sadaus the two incidences are number 1 all the servants gathered their belongings and departed in the morning without discharging duties now see children here you need to understand that the servants were not against their master okay the servants were against the act that their masters were doing dr sadau and hana all right they had problem with that white man but not with their master so they had given warning already but when master did not obey that what happened they gathered their belongings and then they departed on seventh day and in the same day hana saw a uniformed messenger enter the house with the general's message now when hana saw uniformed messenger she became so scared she started thinking that the servants might have given the message to the army people about the hiding of this american soldier but she was wrong as the messenger had come with the general's message for dr sadau let's move ahead to the next question why did a messenger came to call sadau what did hana think about the visit of the messenger it is linked with the first question that we did just now the messenger informed about the pain of the old general as we know general takima was already in pain he had required general sorry he had required dr sadau's aid now and then okay so here when old general was in pain the messenger had come to inform about the same to the doctor the general needed care instantly but hana thought the servants had betrayed this is human nature to predict negative thing whoever it is if somebody does not come home at proper time they start thinking about their, their death okay they miss happenings that they might have encountered this is human nature in the same way hana also thought that servants had betrayed and it was you know it was something which was expected because servants were totally angry at the behavior of hana and dr sadau okay so there was possibility that servants would betray their master but that did not happen the servants were very trustworthy since their father's time since sadau's father's time they were working there so they had segregated themselves from the happenings of dr sadau's house but they did not inform anyone she also thought the man had come to arrest them hana had become so much afraid that she thought servants had betrayed and then the messenger had come to arrest husband she herself and then the thing is going to be the situation is going to be worse but fortunately that did not happen this is very important question children please be alert the question is why does the general not want to be treated by a doctor trained in germany see when we hear this country's name automatically hitler comes in our mind and here the story is all about the scenario which we see during world war 2 okay the background is in world war 2 therefore germans can be related to ruthlessness because the hitler who ruled germany had killed a lot of jews in concentration camps therefore comparing that particular incident they are regarded as ruthless so german they don't care much about human life this is told because 
everybody knows the entire world knows the history of germany okay so it is accepted that germans they value less human life whereas americans are sentimental and value life now for what reason we are not clear with that but when we compare germany and americans then americans does not uh, they don't have any such history which germany has killing of jews snatching of their property confiscating their properties okay we do, don't see any such kind of history linked with americans now because of these reasons americans are a little bit higher a little bit upper compared to germany next general takima prefers dr sadao because of his dexterity as a surgeon and his humanness dexterity means his skill the doctor was very much skilled in his task task of operating saving life of anyone and he was a human being when he is not able to kill an enemy who is from enemy country then how can he how can he not treat his own general general takima so humanness he had already seen in dr sadao and he trusted him because he will never let any patient die even if it is a criminal so these are the reasons that you need to mention in your answer okay let's move to the next question and it has two questions which has similar answer how did the general offer to help sadao get rid of the american or what secret plan did the general have about the american soldier staying under the care of sadao now here we need to write the plan of general takima which was made with the association of dr sadao now see dr sadao had told entire story about prisoner of war to general takima now general takima had to find the solution now the solution was that he will send private assassins to kill that particular american man now what happened let's see in details the general offered to send his own private assassins general knows entire story about american man and then he says that i will send private assassins assassins means murderers okay killers and these killers these private killers are required in a monarchical government where people if they agitate then the king will have the power to suppress that with the help of assassins with the help of murderers okay he also informed that without much aid and noise they would kill the man by causing internal bleeding they don't have to worry much there won't be any blood anywhere because they are going to make him bleed internally and they don't require anybody's help and there won't be any noise during killing so this this point shows that how much expert these assassins were okay not only that they would also dispose the body from their house they are going to take away the body and they will bury it somewhere else so there won't be any tension for hana and dr sadao but there is a weird thing that we get to see and that is dr sadao made a secret plan with general takima to kill american soldier now let's see whether he will be at peace at night or not because dr sadao is the savior of the life of american man but here suddenly he changes so whether he is going to accept the plan that he had made or he is wishing something else for the soldier let's see next question is what is an absolute state why was it necessary for the rulers to keep assassins the first point is an autocratic dictatorial state is called an absolute state it means when there is one person who dictates the state like hitler he was a dictator he dictated his desires upon citizens 
had they been democratic state then the concentration camp the assassination of people would not have happened because there would have been several people's opinion before acting before doing anything because it was a single leader state therefore these kinds of evil happened and the countries are infamous for those acts yet okay now i hope it's clear next point that you need to include is that it is ruled by a despot despot is one person okay in which no opposition tolerated in this state in this dictatorial state no opposition is tolerated whatever despot will say whatever king queen or leader will say the citizen has to obey that okay now japan during world war 2 was an absolute state and assassins were required to silence any type of discontent or opposition see now and then if people will rebel then the progress will be hindered in india only we have seen a lot of things which uh, stops the progress sometimes people gather in one particular place like park and playground and then they agitate so when they are hap- when this kind of things are happening then the roads are blocked okay the children are not able to go to school children are not able to sit for the examination and other works are also stopped so in order to stop that people all the despots needed assassins that is why they kept assassins and these were the requirements of absolute state okay let's move to the next question after the general's assurance of getting the american prisoner slain the doctor should have felt relieved but he spent sleepless nights how do you account for his behavior now see the general's plan was full proof he said the general takima said that he will send his assassins and they are going to do their work by killing the man and uh, removing the body from general sorry dr sadao's house but that did not please dr sadao in the evening that night he was not able to sleep it is because his concise pricked him okay he had saved the life of that american man and now he himself was making plan to kill him it was so ironical and apart from that he was a doctor how could a doctor who saves the life can plan for the killing of his own patient so he became so concise stricken and therefore he was not able to sleep properly his heart reproaches him for betraying his guest reproaches means blames his heart blames him for betraying his guest because his guest when he was very apprehensive about his life dr sadao had given no reply and the guest had become a little bit sad okay so here he thought that he is betraying his guest by making that plan he could not think of killing someone who was saved by he himself i have already told you that he was not able to kill the man whom he had saved himself okay so this happens to any human being if you keep some fish in your aquarium later on you won't be able to eat that it is because we have emotional bonding whether we believe it or not we start having emotional bonding with that because of which we will never be able to kill somebody who is near to us okay who is near to us who is in our heart subsequently he wished that the white man survived and escaped to safety even though he had made the plan with general takima in his heart he wished that he survived and escaped to safety in front of his eyes he should not be killed by any means so here we understand that dr sadao was a true doctor who was above all the human prejudices our next question is gazing out to the sea from where the young man had come sadao was reminded of some other white men he had known 
Who were they and what did Sadao remember about them? Now the answer should include After the prisoner's departure, Dr. Sadao gazed at the sea. See, the prisoner of war was sent out by Dr. Sadao himself and how he was sent out we will understand in upcoming questions. Okay, So after the departure of prisoner of war he gazed at the sea he continuously looked at the sea and he remembered few people who were with whom he had met in america he reminded of dull professor number one number two his silly and talkative wife he remembered his anatomy professor who insisted on mercy with the knife so these were the people who were in America when Dr. Sadao studied. Now see, mercy with knife. This is very important to understand. Knife, with knife, a murderer kills human being and with that very knife, a doctor saves the life of human being. Okay, so if, as I have already told you when I discussed cardinal sin, the knife and the user should be knowledgeable the doctor should be knowledgeable about the organs of human body and processes of human body then only they will be able to cure it so mercy with the knife it means the knife should be used in such a way so that it will save the life of the patient and not kill them mercy with the knife okay utilization of a weapon in a judicious way or you can say in a productive way. Instead of killing, it saves the life. Okay. Let's move to the next question. What are your views about the indifferent attitude of the general towards the presence of the American prisoner of war in doctor's house? Or what explains the attitude of the general in the matter of the enemy soldier? Was it human consideration? Lack of national loyalty or dereliction of duty or simply self-absorption now see you need to understand the question at first i have already told you general takima and dr sadao had made a plan to remove that american prisoner of war but what is happening out here general had forgotten totally to send the assassins to dr sadao's house now what can it be called is it human consideration is it he wanted to save that American prisoner of war because he was a human being? Or it was lack of national loyalty. It wanted, he wanted, sorry, he wanted to save the life of Dr. Sadao. That is why he concealed the news of this man. That is why he didn't send the assassins. Is that so? Or it was dereliction of duty. He was just careless and didn't do the duty as a general of Japan. What was it? Or it was self-absorption. So your last answer is correct. That is self-absorption. He was not against his country. He was not sympathetic towards anyone. Okay. He was not removing or re being reluctant towards his studies. But it was self-absorption. Because he was suffering from pain, he had totally forgotten to send the American man. Let's see the point. Let's see the answer and the first point that uh, all the students should include is the general is strange and idiosyncratic fellow. Now here he is strange because what he says is not accompanied by what he does. Okay and idiosyncratic it means he is very eccentric person. He flips from one thing to another. Okay, he is not able to take firm decision. Next, he is too preoccupied with himself for being a general. I have written in short, G stands for general. Okay, just because he was a general, he wanted to save his life to the fullest. Okay, he did not think anything else than his health. He was extremely fearful of death even after being a general now see general i had already told you that he was the one to bring laurel to japan he was there in battle he was there in conflicts wars 
because of which he was a renowned soldier okay even citizen loved him for his courage and gallant nature but here the contrast thing we get to see a general who was victorious in many wars is scared of death okay next very ruthless and cruel army officer general takima was very ruthless and cruel army officer it is surprising to see that he failed to send his assassins being a very meticulous general he should have done everything particularly okay whenever he had sen- said that he will send the assassins he should have sent it but he says that he had forgotten to send it and that is so arbitrary ignored sending assassins now why he ignored sending assassins the reasons are mentioned here let's understand those first of all dr sadao was very important for him now what is the connection between this point and the points which we have discussed earlier the point is that he did not want hana and sadao to be injured accidentally by the assassins now see assassins would not know who is who okay by chance if they kill dr sadao and hana instead of that man then what will happen general's life will be at stake he did not want to take the chance therefore he feigns forgetfulness he pretends forgetfulness he says that he had forgotten to send the assassins and that was a false thing okay next he had become self observed senile and that is why he delayed self absorption it means he was so much concerned about his health and that was prioritized at that moment by the general and that is why rest of the things had become secondary he had become senile he had become you know old clumsy and he delayed everything okay so these are the points which are very important let's move to the next question and discuss with the points How did Dr Sadao rise above narrow prejudices of race and country to help a human being in need Here the very important question is this Hatred is unjustifiable in any form Now why should we hate anyone There is no logical reason behind it Okay because eventually we are human beings and we need love and care and association of others so what is the point of hating anyone all right so justice sorry hatred is not justifiable in any form be it from enemy country okay because when we see when we have a close look then we will see that there is no grudge between dr sadao and that american man the problem is with the person who initiated war okay i hope you are understanding the thing the problem is with initiators of war and not with the soldiers who are fighting for somebody okay therefore hatred is unjustifiable dr sadao is a classic example of how a human being can rise above narrow prejudices dr sadao teaches so many things to human beings he is tells us how to be selfless how to be selfless how to be caring how to accept the changes that happens in our life okay and not only that how to take a risk if it is in a right path he was kind doctor and large hearted man who was able to accept even an enemy country prisoner he had morality he had ethics and he had humanity and this goes above his hatred and pseudo sense of superiority and patriotism the people like general takima had pseudo sense of superiority and patriotism but dr sadao was a genuine patriot because genuine patriot not only that he was a genuine human being as well because he saved the life of that man at the same time he saved the reputation of the country 
as well not only country but the general as well therefore he is epitome of example rest of the important points are when he was taking medical degree in america there he was subjected to hatred everybody used to turn their faces at a japanese face but that did not stop him he didn't want to do tit for tat policy he didn't want to support tit for tat policy okay the kind of hatred that he received he didn't want to give the same back to american prisoner instead he wanted to show people that japanese are hospitable japanese are a true human beings and generous as well they believed in giving they believed in welcoming their guests and the world should know dr sidao and his gestures and not anything else because of some mysterious affinity and synergy between prisoner of war and dr sidao he overcomes his narrow prejudices there is something there is some bonding between prisoner of war and dr sidao and the bonding is of humanity doctor and patient okay therefore he was not able to kill prisoner of war finally he is a human being whom dr sadaw had treated so obviously the savior can never be a destroyer that is what we see in this answer let's move to the last question and this is how dr sadaw supported american man second time how did dr sadaw help the american prisoner to escape what precautions did he want the man to take first of all he provided his own stout boat stout strong small boat and he filled that boat with food bottled water and two quilts two blankets okay and he had given personal flashlight to signal if he requires anything he was asked to go to nearby island on this boat and then he can eat the items which he has placed for him unless and until a korean ship comes korean boat comes korean boats were safer than anything else and with that korean boat he could have gone back to his home as well therefore he has given a flashlight and instruction was given that he should not light the torch during night it should be used during daytime and dr sadaw will keep on looking at the island then he will be able to understand if he requires anything then he will adjust something for him he should eat raw fish no fire the prisoner of war when he left from dr sadaw's house he was instructed to eat fish from the sea directly and he should not light any fire because if he will do that then people will know about this is strange thing and they will report to the police okay he should row to a particular direction to reach island now see he was instructed to which direction he should row in order to reach the island wait for a korean fishing boat i told you he was instructed to wait for a korean fishing boat which is safer and at last what he did he covered his blonde hair okay light color hair and dressed him as japanese japanese cloth that is kimono was given to dr sadao japanese cloth was given to prisoner of war sorry in order to save his life okay so from his end he did everything for an enemy country prisoner but he got the reward for it okay so by this we have completed the question answers i hope it is going to be helpful for your examination till then we meet Take care and bye-bye children.